Here we are solving 1.6, solving an absolute value equation of the form one absolute value of an expression equal to another absolute value of an expression. And this is kind of like the case where you have a positive equal to a positive number. Because this absolute value bar is equal to a positive value over here. This will be positive because of the absolute value bars. So you take what is on the inside equal to exactly what is on the inside over here or what is on the inside on the left equal to the negative of what is on the inside to the right okay so that's the difference here you have to do the positive this just as it is and then this the opposite signs so a negative in the front so here, I would subtract 3w from both sides, and I would get 3 equals 6, which we know is false. So there is no solution here. But because I do have a second equation to try to solve, this is not my final conclusion, okay? So let's go ahead and continue solving over here. It just means I don't get any answers from this particular equation but I could get some solutions from this um, equation. So I would have 3w plus 3 equal to negative 3w and a negative 6. So in this case, I would have to add 3w to move it over. And I get 6w plus 3 equals negative 6. And then if I minus 3 on both sides, I get 6w equal to negative 9. If I divide by six on both sides, I get W equals to negative three halves if I reduce that fraction. So I do get an answer for this side. So that just means I'm only gonna have one final answer and it's negative three halves. The answer, the total complete conclusion is not no solution. You could have had two answers, but because this side didn't have an answer, you only have the one solution. Now let's check out one over here. So we take the positive of, or this inside equal to this expression exactly as it is, or the left inside equal to the opposite of the right inside. So then here, if I solve this, I get two V minus one equals three. and I end up with V equal to two, so I do have a solution there. Over on this side, I get negative two V minus three. So I have to add two V on both sides now. And then divide by six, and if I that I get negative one-third so in this case I did end up with two solutions